Kathy and Chase are going to be camping here for the night. Just doing a one-nighter. This is our uh, Banshee Pro 200. Two-man tent. Obviously, uh, I've had to get a reasonably big size tent due to the uh, size of Chase. So, <clears throat> and I needed to get something that was quite tall inside for him to stand up in. So this is the uh, inside of the tent. Quite a lot of space in there. Chase is going to go in there. A little look by the looks of it. Good boy. So this would be the first night that he's uh, actually camped in it. We did do like a little uh, practice run in the back garden but due to him uh, knowing where we was I think he just wanted to go back indoors so this is a, obviously different surroundings different area we're out in the open now so he doesn't know where he is so uh, yeah this will be the first night of testing to see how he reacts hopefully he'll be okay and hopefully he'll settle down uh, but we'll see what happens I suppose we'll see how it goes I've got a, a backpack here. Chase is going to be sleeping on a wool blanket which is rolled up there. I'm going to put that down inside the tent later on and I've just got my um, Corinthia sleeping bag. Uh, it's not the winter one it's the uh, I believe this one's a summer free season I think it might be. Uh, yeah the details are on there anyway. And I haven't got an inflatable mat, I've just got my sort of fold out army bed, it's just like foam sort of matting, um, just in case Chase puts his uh, claws for anything. This is uh, Chase's backpack. Uh, I think I weighed it before it come out. It was about five, just over five kilograms, I think it was. Um, so he's carrying basically all of the food and all of the water inside, and I'm carrying all the, all the equipment. Uh, I'm going to give you a little treat. What's this? Ooh, what's this, Chase? Mmm. Tonight we've got. I've got a steak to cook. Yeah, you've got one as well, haven't you? A steak as well. What have we got here, Chase? So I've got his biscuits in a Ziploc bag. Oh, and I've got a piece of steak which he's going to eat raw. Um, he eats raw meat anyway, so yeah, it's for later, isn't it? Let's find on. Hmm. We're going to give him his bone now anyway. So he's got something to eat. Let's just put that down there. Wessex. Chase approves of the Wessex, obviously. Yeah. Just a 
wrapper. Nothing in there now. Take that back home with us. So I did bring four litres of water with us because um, where we camp there's like a, a little tiny stream and it's a bit hit and miss really. So um, Chase carried two litres in his backpack and I carried two litres in my backpack which will probably be more than enough but just in case I did bring a water filter and um, there is a tiny uh, bit of water here but it's not running so quite lucky really that we did actually uh, bring some water. Uh, could have probably filtered it, but seeing as we bought four litres, we may as well just use what we've got. Um, so yeah, it's a bit hit and miss where we are. So sometimes there's a uh, water running, sometimes there isn't. Last time we came, there was a, a like a mild uh, trickle of water. So hopefully I can salvage some of this birch bark to uh, start a fire. I'm going to use the bark on, on the tree.
Come and get your dinners. Yeah. Using the uh, Nando's Peri Peri rub, the barbecue, smoky barbecue on the steak. And it's a uh, fillet steak, I've got. That's it, that'll do. Straight onto the plate. What I'll do is I'll let this grill plate burn off some of the uh, residue. I'll just fill this up a little bit. Okay, going. It's going to smoke a little bit now. It's going to kick off a bit. Hopefully the flames on that should burn all the uh, oil off. Let's just see if this is cooked to perfection, minus the leaf that's inside. spicy that sauce or that um, rub is quite spicy but it's beautiful flavor Chase is enjoying himself He's having a nice little chill just there his little light and I'm gonna pack up in about 20 minutes because there's a uh, rain predicted at 11 so I want to make sure everything's all away and in the tent just before the uh, rain starts to come down so I've had my dinner and get everything all sorted and then sit Enjoy the fire for another hour or two before the rain starts.